Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And a lot of work has been done on Clang Temple here. As we can see, a lot of it's been filled in. However, we are going to be making the mechanism at the top that will allow it to open up like a flower and then eat ships for sacrifices to Clang. <laughs> and this is a special episode because it is the first episode I've recorded with my brand new boom mic. So I've got, previously I had like a, oh, what you would expect to be just like a, uh, like a metal tripod sort of thing that you would think, oh yeah, that would be what they would have on like a stage, an open mic, and there would just be a microphone attached to it. And that's how I had my recording mic set up and it would just be leaning over the side of my my desk and just be positioned in front of my face so that I could record. But now I have a wonderful boom arm spring loaded that I can move around. It moves with my desk, which is great because I have a sit stand electrical desk that I can raise up and down. So now I can I can move this away as I have taken steps away from my desk and I still have my microphone in front of me and I can move to the side and it's still there and I can move to the other side and it's so exciting for me because I'm actually doing stuff and all you're seeing is just a static image. But this is special because it is the first time I've recorded a video standing up and I hope to do some more of that in the future. It's uh, much more relaxing to record the video sometimes and you get off your butt. But. We have our mobile field base uh, precariously perched with uh, just barely grabbing on there. And we have a hole in the center of here with little like L brackets. Huh. It seems like we're going to mount something in there, which is what we are going to do. And it is going to be great. So let us pop back into our character here and get to work. The idea being, what we're going to do today is there is going to be a four triangles. So starting at the center, triangle out to each corner from each side. And those triangles are then going to raise up and then spin 180 to point outwards. And in the center where they open up, I'm going to have a pathway, a tunnel down. And then deep down here, we're going to have a, a grinder pit. And so then as you feed ships to Clang and sacrifice them at the temple, then they will get ground up in the pit. And that is the idea. So we've got this thing here parked precariously so that it's uh, build and repairs can help us with this. And I should probably change its color considering the blue was meant to be camo for sitting on the lake but we're now in the desert and there's no lakes here but it's fine for now so what we need to do is we're going to pop down advanced rotor then we're going to pop down a piston one of the one by fives really big ones because we're going to need a lot of space in order to do this and then a light armor block and we're going to take this and we're going to go minimum distance and we're going to go 2.1 I've already done some testing on this, as you might have uh, figured. And if we ex extend this bad boy out ba -da -ba -ba -ba, until it passes 2.1, and then bring it back, that 2.1 will make it so that it is close, right? Very close. Uh, maybe just 2.2. Uh, maximum distance. Minimum 2.2. That. That's pretty good right there. Excellent. So, the idea being, uh, so that's, uh, right, uh, sun rises in the east. So, north, east, south, west. So, the, the main base is actually to the south of us. We're in the southern hemisphere. Interesting. Uh, let me just pop up here and check. So that is the orientation. The main base is actually in the southern hemisphere. This is on the equator. 
oh, I should probably make something in the mountains in the north, but that'll be for the future. <laughs> I keep thinking of new projects that it's like, God, gosh, you should just like finish this damn season so you don't have a world that is lagging. So many freaking PCU in this world. Okay, so this is uh, east. So this is one by five piston uh, east. And this is uh, advanced rotor east. If I can spell things correctly. And then we'll do that all the way around for all the different ones. But what's going to happen in the center is this is going to come on out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it's going to make a nice little triangle. Let me just make that triangle real quick here. Da -da -da. One more, and then to center. Da -da. And then this way, it gets nicely filled out. <laughs> Excellent. Ah, too many. Needs to be triangle. If it's not triangle, it's incorrect. There we go. So, triangle. And now we just need to repeat that entire structure to make four, uh, three more of them. Yes, 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 yes. So then this one here will be advanced rotor south. And uh, this will be 1x5 piston south. And then the same thing, minimum distance and such. And then we'll set the maximums in the future. And then we'll do the, uh, the triangle with the armor blocks, which I should have plenty of... Uh, Yes, I have plenty of steel plate on me to do this. Da -da -da. This one will be the west. West. And it's starting armor block. And then this one will be the north. North block. Excellent. All right. Now, somewhere down here, probably the south side, because that is the side that is closest to the main base, we're also going to go boop, 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 to, to doopity doop there. And we'll make a little platform here so that we have space to put batteries and timers and seats and all that kind of stuff. Because we'll put a seat right here for control on this big bad boy. And we'll put some timers behind us. And uh, I think just just two, two for x for ah uh, God I can't speak. Two for extending, two for retracting. Should be good. And then I uh, will throw down a single battery in the middle, just so we got some uh, power storage here, just in case we need it. Ah, uh, because we eventually will. So. I need to go and while my build and repairs build stuff uh, they got all the uh, pistons done so control C damn it it's not ready I'll just have to uh, control it from here so this th ah this guy's incomplete so it was east we had already set up 2.2 uh, minimum distance so we want to do that everyone's minimum distance should be 2.2 and we'll just set everyone's maximum distance as like five right now we don't want them extending out too for too much and we can uh, extendo them all so that they all get past their 2.2 and then we can reverse them all back into their 2.2 we can speed them up a little bit too excellent so now these all should be nicely aligned with the top of that and no not that and then all I need to do is build them out, which would take me just a moment and I will be right back. Okay, dokie. Okay, so that's all of the the triangles. And you see that I've left the, uh, the sort of edges here. Uh, those are gonna get filled in going around this way. So 
this one, it's always, if you look at a gap, the right side will get it. So that one, that one, all on the right side like this to the center. And so then for this one, it'll all get the right side as well, like that to fill in the gap. And then for this one, of course, you're still ignoring the center one. It'll be going on the right side. And there. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, no, no, no. Wrong. There and there. Excellent. So now, I left this one here because I still need to get down to the basement. <laughs> no, it is not ready. Why are you not ready yet? Build me my thingies. Uh, I probably just need to go grab resources for those. I think I already have them pre-made. I think I was that smart to do it ahead of time, but I might not be. I might be a dum dum. Hey, I have parts for those. Uh, timer. This isn't what I need. Do, 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 do. Uh, mm, make me components. Okay. Kill production for timer block. Do that. Make me things. Goody. It is making me things for timer block. So I need seat. Then one, two, three, four. Perfect. That's all I need. Down into my little hole. Mirror seat. I have all your thingies. And number one, number two, number three. What? How am I out of computers? What? What? Okay, this is fine. I'll get to those in a bit. First thing we need to do is each one of these things is going to go a different distance out. So starting from, say, the south here, let's make that maximum distance of five. So we'll just reverse everything so everything's going up. And we'll get into our uh, spectator camera here. Hmm? Is everything all <laughs> bunged up? Do we have we have enough power on this, right? Wind turbine is producing. Yes, it is producing more than enough power. Is everything all like caught up to itself? Uh, all right. We should probably set these lower limits and upper limits to be zero, just for the moment, so that there isn't any binding when we try to take these out. So that should be good. And then you guys should just raise up if you are not being silly. Come on, you did this before. Maximum distance is good. Huh. Is it just not wanting to, uh, to raise? Are they just all binding together. They shouldn't. There should be enough space between these that they should just work. Grrr. See, they're trying to, but they're like getting caught on each other. Ah! Come on, this is what the um, armor like new physical models was supposed to fix. It was supposed to make these things possible, but I guess not for me. Uh, all of these things share under the tensor, maybe. Just tighten them up and then none share it? I don't know. Work, damn it, work! Hmm. Let's try one going upwards. Let's set them all to reverse. And let's just get south to go up. Was that south or was that west? Well, it was west that's going up. That's fine. 
But it's not going, god damn it. This thing doesn't like me. Uh so why is it because I have these uh these blocks in here, West? Is that why you don't like me? Because I can remove those blocks that I put in there. Uh, there they are. And we can put other things in there. Yeah, it really doesn't like those blocks, eh? Okay, I'll have to put something else in there and make the that a little bit smoother. Okay, but West is up! Okay, good. So let's get everybody up then. Uh, I'm going to have to remove those blocks for everybody, aren't I? God damn it. I added those for a reason. To make it look good. And now it is screwing up with my plans. Of course. If everything I did in Space Engineer was smooth and wonderful on the first try, then it wouldn't be an entertaining series now, would it be? Uh, you, you watch to see me screw up sometimes, because it is funny. Um, -da 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 -da, and uh, now these should all extend one. How about hey, okay, everything's going up. So now, if I want everything to do a 180, they can't be on the same level because they're all going to hit each other. So each one, I think I'm going to raise by three meters in relation to each other. So that way there's a little bit of extra space. So south will be the first one. Then it will be west at eight. Then north at 11. And then east at 14. So they're all going to raise to separate heights and then all of these rotors are going to have zero as their lower limit 180 as their upper limit and they're all going to rotate in position Ooh, yeah baby look at that rotation Woo! oh that looks good And then we have this opening in the center, down into the pits of the, the thing here. So let's put those into some groups here. We'll get all of the rotors and all of the pistons. And we'll put them on the bar here. Uh, rotors first, we'll re reverse. And these reverse. So go rotors. And they spin around all back into position. And then as soon as they're ready, tonk pistons. And they all suck back into the the structure. Boom, 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 boom. The structure closes back up again. <laughs> so good. Okay. Now, that is very annoying that if I'm putting in, say, a block like this, that it doesn't like that. And I need steel plate. Of course I need steel plate. Give me just a few steel plate. There we go. So if I put a block here, oh, I saw that shift. Yeah, it doesn't like this, does it? If I try to extendo, oh, is it extendoing nicely? No, wait, that's the wrong corner. Where's the corner that I did that to? Right here. Is it doing it nicely? Oh, because it was it because it was doing it all at once. It was then doing it nicely. Because I was trying to raise them one at a time. Oh, that one's lagging behind. It's it's rubbing, it's sliding, and then it goes out. Mmm, that's not good. Yeah, it's, it's jiggling a bit too. Okay, so let's do 
uh, rotor tensors. And maybe let's just tensor up everything. It's still, it's still like floating a bit there. That's no good. Yeah, it doesn't like that. It really doesn't like having that block there. Now look at it's all like weird. <sighs> okay. Now it's fine without it there. Okay, so we're gonna need to put something else there. Probably. Um. Blast door, maybe? Blast door corner? Like that? Let's go see if that uh, uh, lifts nicely without exploding. Hey, that lifts nicely. So it just needed something with that little bit of... Um, less space to it so which ah, it's kind of annoying but um i can live with there being blast doors in a uh, a crisscross like that i'm trying to do silly things that this game was never meant to do <laughs> and so i'm fine with that being like so okay so we'll, we'll do that eventually but no need to do it just right away yet and then they, they rotate out and they're gonna rotate back and cocoon, and then boom, we get sucked back in. Okay. That's excellent. Uh, don't rotate yet. <laughs> Must clear each other first, then rotate. Okay, good. So now those are all rotating, and that is beautiful. Then, after they rotate out of that position, we're going to have what is going to be the central uh, space that they are going to uh, be in. Now, that is going to be that size, eh? I need more iron plates. Give me more steel. You're making a whole bunch, but you're also consuming a whole bunch. Uh, turn off your build and repairs for a moment, please. I need to stockpile the steel plates for myself. And also, I need to make sure that they are being built everywhere. Yes. There we go. Make me steel plates. Because I need them. I need them in my life. Uh, 135. You get a few more here. It should probably be okay. I will just let that sit and stockpile some steel plates in the meantime. So, we need some grinders here. Get rid of all those things and get grinders. Uh, at the very biggest, uh, I don't want anything up against these as they're trying to rotate. So, the very biggest will be that size for a grinder pit. I'm um, thinking, let's see here, it will, can come up to this height, because these blocks are one above this, so that height there, so then let's make a ring around this thing at this height. Because then that will be sort of like the lip of the grinder pit. Ah, ah, okay, there we go. Caught it. So one more here and then out this way. Yeah, that's good. And then here. And I might be too... F yeah, one too far. That's better. Boom. All right, so that's the the this sort of ring around the grinder pit. Uh, we can attach it at these corners to give it some stability. Because that's fine. There's nothing that'll get in the way of the rotating pieces if I uh, attach it up here. 
So then from above, you'll see that uh, pit there. Uh, there will be openings on the side here, which I could close off realistically as much as I want, as much as I can, um, but we can do that in the future. And then on the interior, uh, I can cut this away, because this doesn't need to be here. And the interior is going to be just a wall going downwards of grinders. So uh, the depth of the pit. It should be the depth of the pit. Uh, da, da, da. Let me see the plates do I still have on me. 106, okay. So, also grinders this way or this way? Which looks more menacing from above? Grinders that way or grinders this way? I think grinders this way because then you can see the blades themselves when you're lowering the ship in. So yeah, that's good. So then like, boom, boom, boom. Probably about like five down, maybe more. You're like six, seven, eight. Then you can start like inching in because, um, oh, I need some uh, interior plate. Uh, where's my thing? Over here. Do I have any plate over here? Uh, oh yes, I have 20 interior plate. That should be more than enough for what I need to do. Uh, I could also start this inching in earlier, where you would basically do like a uh, conveyor junction, and then a grinder, and then a junction, and a grinder, and that kind of thing. Slowly moving into a point so that way there's like a concave bottom uh, to this uh, pit and then at some point it'll just come all together and then it'll just be a grinder pointing upwards and that'll be that yeah i think that would work so then from this side uh oh let's yeah let's do this side be that way, then it'll be one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down, and then conveyor, grinder, oh, that's arm wrong. That's wrong. Conveyor, no, grinder. <laughs> grinder, they are. Uh, Kinda. And then what, that should be the bottom, eh? Because then if these get any closer, they're just going to start grinding each other, won't they? But then we'll just have a um, an armored floor. Can I do that without uh, causing an issue? Will these things grind out this floor, I wonder? Huh. I have no idea if they'll do that. Uh, alternatively, I could have some grinders pointing upwards. And then just also have them along the walls coming down. But I feel like this is kind of cool. I like how this feels. Uh, I got 64, 12, okay. Uh, enough to uh, place a, another set here and start to think about two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then start to think about these corners. Because eventually I'm going to have to have it so that the corners work well with each other like I can't put a grinder on a 45 here unless I put it on a um, like a rotor so then this will have one there and there and then the next one will be two in 
The next one will be three in. That kind of feel. And there will be uh, kind of these gaps in the sides here. But I guess I can fill those in with blocks. And maybe that'll function. That'll be just fine. Uh, I'm going to have to do some testing on this to see what what these grind down. If they grind down anything themselves. And I can turn my um, bill and repairs back on now. I've done my experimentation. You can reassume you're helping me with building this. But that, I think, is going to look real sexy from above when you open up the pyramid and it opens up like a this, this sun petal, like the flower petal, like this. And then you look inside and there's just walls of grinders down there and you chuck a ship in and it just gets ground up we could even do something like um, put a collector or something like that in the bottom of this like these bottom blocks could be collectors uh, pointing upwards so that uh, any bits and such that don't get ground up get collected so say it breaks something instead of grinding it down fully and then it'll pick it up and it'll be fine but I, I don't I, I don't think the grinder will grind it the neighboring grinder right I'd like to think that I need to try this we must tempt this uh, we need some computers, motors, large steel tubes, and all that kind of jazz. Uh, computers, motors, large steel tubes. Yeah, computers, motors, large steel construction components. Go to my personal one. Uh, computers, motors, large steel tubes, and construction components. Bottom. Make me those. And if we make enough of those, we shall be able to get these grinders functioning. Because beyond that, uh, we do have the timers here. Which need computers. Which actually goes to steal some computers. Get those built, and then while the build and repairs are working on the... Uh, other things I can set up the timers and get them working for myself. There we go. I yoink some computers. Da -da -da. There we go. <gasps> Unique freaking construction components. It's always something. You always need something now, don't you? Uh, there's six of them. I will steal them all. I need like 20 something of them, don't I? Personal. Yeah, make me construction components. For I require them. I require them. Uh, I need like 20, didn't I? Or 25. Uh, that hopefully is good enough. If not, I'm gonna cry. And yeah. Okay, good enough to at least get it functional. So, two timers here. This will be timer... raise. Timer... open. Time... timer... close. And... timer... Uh, lower. Okay, so we need to count this. If it's 2 RPM and they're doing a 180, 2 revolutions per minute, and we're doing half a revolution, so then this should be 15 seconds to rotate back into position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 
50, yeah. Uh, my math is correct. So 15 seconds for the rotate. That's open. So we need to not worry about that here. That's not relevant. That is relevant in close. So we need to give this 16 seconds before it goes and gets lower. Start. Uh, group, rotors, uh, reverse. And then lower is immediate, and it is group, pistons, retract. And this one, we have to figure out how long it takes for these pistons to go up and down. So then, start one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, say twelve ish seconds. So then this one here needs the twelve ish seconds, and then it can start its uh, rotors reversing, and the rays can start immediately, and it has the actions of pistons extend and call timer open start. So if my theory crafting is correct, if I close this all up, I should be able to just go timer open and timer, wait, timer raise and timer, timer close. Right, because raise goes to open, and close goes to lower. I could probably change the those names, but they just work for now. So timer raise, trigger now, and timer close, trigger now. Oh yeah, start. Uh, trigger now, there we go. So timer raise. They should all raise up. And then after the prerequisite amount of time, after all raising high enough, a second later, they all rotate into the open position. Beautiful! Yes! And then after that, we press the other one. And they all rotate back. And they all get screwed up. Okay, that did not work. So why did that screw up? Uh, this was... Ah, the 16 second was there. 16 seconds should have been here. That was my issue. That was my issue. Now, nine, rotate, giving me my 16 seconds, and then we'll lower into position. I had my delay in the wrong timer, and then lower. Mm. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. A little clangy, but that is what the temple is. Excellent. And did you... Ah, oh, yes, some of these are built up. Okay, now, the moment of truth. If I turn this one on, will it grind the one below it? It doesn't! That's good. That is very good. And if I turn you on, will you grind that armor block that's below you? You don't! Excellent! Okay, so this is how we can fill up this area. Uh, do you grind the armor block that is right there, though? <sighs> That'll be a question. Let's uh, go grab another piece of armor. Piece of steel. And see if that is the case. 
zippity doo da down to the hall here. And let me just open this thing up. Boop. Again. So it's a little easier for me to get in and out. Uh, if I put an armor block there, do you grind that? On. You don't grind that. Okay, that is very good information. So I can fill up the armor like so. And you guys don't grind that. Uh, that one. Excellent. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Just ground myself a little bit. Oh, well, it works out. So then I can fill in this like so. And then there will be no spots for anything to uh, fall to the wayside. Everything will just go nicely into position here. I suppose I could put on something like the, um, like this piece of armor. God, how is this thing supposed to, oh, there we go. That's how it's supposed to go. So, something like that, which is part of like the um, armor mod that I have. Which kind of looks cool. You know, that, uh, that extra slant there looks like it's kind of funneling things down into position. That, I'll probably go along the lines with that. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. That actually looks really good. Yeah, the f it's like a funnel, man. This is good. Down. And then right here in the center, you just get ground from all sides. Blah, and you get destroyed. And then I can put like a collector right here in the center in the bottom. Oh, yeah, baby. I think that is the plan. And I think that is the system. We have it. We have the clang temple opening up to allow you to drive a ship into its grinder pit inside of it. Oh god, it's glorious. I'll just get this little control room here and uh, I can take a look again. Watch the opening and closing procedure. Oh, it's so pretty. So the next thing for me to do for this is obviously I need to take this mining rig that I have here, my mobile field base. I need to go find some more materials, spe specifically a nickel deposit, as I'm running out of nickel to build um, motors and such, which I'm going to need a lot to um, build up all of the conveyors and such that are going to be in here. I need to, I believe I can still make a, a building on top of here in the center I just need it to either be entirely on one of them or I need it to be um, properly segmented out I think it would have trouble with this rotation away though specifically the one that is rotating underneath the um, like the, the the one on the bottom right now is ro rotating underneath the one that is in the top right so it wouldn't really work there um, I'll figure out something, but put some sort of pillars or structures on the top where it will work. Maybe like kind of like a stone hingey type circle of armor pillars, just to give it some sort of texture at the top of it. And then fill in the little holes it has with the um, sides of the triangles with armor, uh, what's your blast door blocks. And, yeah, build up the grinder pit completely, power this thing up, and then it should be good to uh, accept sacrifices in the name of Clang. And then I can take some uh, old retired ships and stuff like that and throw them in here and do a little dance and hopefully Clang won't destroy my elevator. But I think that is going to be it for today, and I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again next time.
Good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.